Outlander. I have prevailed over such challenges before, and fear none. But this one is foolish. You are not Banuk. You do not understand my responsibilities. I ask you, one hunter to another, withdraw. Sadly, I can't. Will you let us go to Thunderstrom? You haven't seen what's up there, Outlander. I will not risk my sister's life again. Then we better get on with this. So be it! I will bury your insolent claim in the frozen ground! Enough! Let us begin! To hunt! To strive! That is the way of the Banuk and of the contest before you. You will climb the frost figures from the east, Aratok from the west. Each trail wends its way through deadly machines. Hunters from the Werak will be posted along the way. They will hail you, calling out machines for you to slay. Your hunt will take you around the ridge to the center, where you must descend to the valley for your final kill. Each time, after your prey has fallen, you must launch a beacon such as this, so that all our kin will see your progress. Kill machines, launch balloons. Got it. So, the first of us to launch the third balloon wins? Basically, sounds like. Well, yes. And as challenger, your path to victory is harder. If even one of your beacons comes in after Aratox, he prevails. Seriously? <laughs> you had your chance, Outlander. So did you. The hunt begins on my mark. Few ways to go up. And those rock paintings mark the pass. Okay, up we go. Wasting. Challenger. You need to take off the herd below. Every machine. Kill a herd. Okay.
marker! All right, here we go. Now climb the ridge and launch a balloon! Haratok knows what he's doing. No time to waste. Take the rappel point to the next challenge. Two bellowbacks ahead, challenger. Kill them both. None of the other machines matter. All right, two dead bellowbacks coming up. Now take the zipline and work your way down to the valley. should be here, driving in our final quarry.
So it's true. Frost Claws from Thunder's Drum. The attack cut short the competition. Naturally, there can be no result. It is void. You saw what she did. She defeated the machines, not I. It is proven she is the better hunter. We are Banuk. Survive, prevail. What else matters? Oh, well, he gave up his claim. My blood is in your teeth. I take my place behind you on the hunt. No more hunters may make the ascent to Thunder's Drum. The way is closed to all but the chieftain and myself. It is not my place that I would ask a boon. To accompany you and my sister. It might be permitted. But only if you do as I say. Okay. No. Only if you do as I say. Thunder's drum awaits. There's a camp at its base, Long Notch it's called. Meet us there when you're ready. Chieftain. A new outfit. And a weapon with guard talks. I guess the Chieftain gets the Chieftain's gear. And now it's a long match. Nothing left to keep me from Thunder's drum. Some of us have real responsibilities and don't have time to spend all day painting cliff sides like Sapuli.
blades. Let's see what this blue gleam is worth. When the old ones were fresh in their graves and on them. I remember. Water Skills, 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 skills. Mm. 
likes of Anuka might find this blue gloom stuff valuable. Another kill for me. I can trade this boldly. In the old days, the mad sun king was doing so impossible. Impossible on the caverns to creep closer to Banuk lands. They should exercise some caution. How many of us died in the Red Raid? Long Notch is well stocked, as you asked. And our scouts are watching for more frost claws. Our numbers rise. Three more hunters have passed their trials. But our purpose was to take back the mountain. Now what? Stay prepared. Sharpen your spears. Should we not return, defending the cut falls to you. If our chieftain agrees with this course. Sounds like good advice, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. Chieftain? The weight of command is no small burden. I can see that. I take it you haven't spoken to Araya yet? Why should I? This is what she wanted, to return to Thunder's Drum. It is her only care. So I should have known she would find a way to push aside my spear. After the Karja took my sister, not all of her came back. What happened to Araya when she was a captive of the Karja? As a shaman, She's adept with machines, tracking them, stunning them. The Karja used her to capture them for the Sunring, where they were unleashed upon the innocent. They made her part of their blood sport. The shame she suffered beneath their pitiless sun. She survived. She endured. Endured by reminding herself of the spirit Spirit, her purpose. But now that's all she has. Tell me what happened to the first expedition. Rhea led the way to the summit, but it was blocked by a great door. Some kind of cauldron, new metal. We tried to break through, but it was unflinching. We were exhausted, no way forward and machines behind. I made the call to push back. It cost us greatly. But to remain would have cost us everything. I had hoped to never subject Araya to that again. What do you think is beyond that door? I do not know. That expanse of metal, that dead hum. Nothing sacred belongs there. Machines and death, that's what the mountain holds. Death for us, or for the daemon? And if we do find the spirit? Then perhaps we should put it out of its misery. All right. For what it's worth, I'm glad you're coming with me. Hmm. Someone has to keep Araya safe. Let's see. Yeah.